Although I like to have fun on this channel, today I'm going to talk about something serious and I hope that I can do some good for some people out there with this. So if you or someone you know is having a hard time going through a divorce right now, stay tuned because I have some words to say about that. I have a law partner who says that the reason divorce is so expensive is because it's so worth it. Well, I don't know about that. I, I think sometimes uh, we tend to view a divorce as uh, something that happened to us as opposed to something that happened to the two of us. And as a result of that, it tends to make divorce very painful, very expensive, and in some ways much easier to have avoided in the first place if you sought the right kind of counsel and did the right kind of things up at the beginning. But today I want to talk about surviving divorce because at the time you are going through a divorce it does not feel like something you can survive. It feels like every day a little bit of your soul is being torn out it feels like this person that you used to love, that you used to wait to come home to, that you, you couldn't wait to come home to. You wanted to be there. You wanted to spend time with. You wanted to walk down the, the road holding their hand, right? Something happens. You have a warm relationship, and then it goes south. And that's tragic, and it's sad, but don't make it worse. Don't turn it into a battle. Because if you turn it into a battle, everybody is going to lose. Everybody's going to lose something. And at the end of the day, you're not going to have anything to show for it. Before I was an attorney, I was a law clerk to a firm in St. Louis that did a lot of divorces. And in one of the cases where we helped someone who was getting a divorce, he was a financial professional who understood the tax law. And he had also had a very, very bad relationship breakup with his wife. There were suggestions of infidelity. And, uh, you know, people tend to have a lot of hurt feelings over that, that kind of thing, and he had very hurt feelings. We had worked out an arrangement where, in terms of child custody, he could he would have had to have paid something the first year, probably five or six thousand dollars, and every year after that he would have received the tax write-off for the children. But he turned it down, even though he knew that in the long run it would be to his best financial interest to do that. He turned it down because he didn't want her to have anything. It's easy to adopt that mindset when you are going through a divorce. It's even understandable to a certain degree. I went through a very bad divorce and it was tragic for me. I, you know, at the beginning of when things went wrong, I tried to make things right. I did my best to, to make things better. And it seemed like everything I did just wasn't enough or wasn't good enough. And eventually it came down to having to decide to end our relationship. So the lawyers asked each other to have their clients uh, propose reasonable property settlements. And my ex-wife proposed one with a listing of property, and my list of the property began with the cat box. Now, that seems to me to be a bit of an insult, and maybe it wasn't intended as one, but it wound up being one, and it set me off, and I didn't react well to it. Even though I'm an attorney, even though I know how these things go, I did not act well I did not react well 
to that situation. So instead of getting a quick resolution and easily working things out, it wound up getting terribly complicated and requiring more money to get through the process. And then in the end, when everything was done, I felt like I had gotten the short end of the stick. And then I got some really good advice from one of the lawyers that I worked with. He said, you know, when you go into divorce, what you have to do is you have to think of it like draining the bathtub. He said, you know, you've put all of your feelings and emotions and, and invested all of your, basically your life savings in this relationship and now it's gone flat. So you got to drain the bathtub, put the plug back in, and fill it up again. You pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and go on. Life will get better, but it won't get better if you keep dwelling on how badly you've been treated. Well, over the course of the next six or seven years, my ex-wife did some things that I thought weren't particularly nice. Um, she nickeled and dimed me on things like child care and, and medical expenses and, and clothing expenses that I didn't think were necessarily appropriate. But in each of those instances, when I got a bill, I paid it, even though in many of those situations, it meant that I'd be on a steady diet of ramen noodles for a few months. Because at the time I was working for the state and the state doesn't pay very well. But I did what I had to do and I wound up getting a different job. I started making a little bit more money. And as soon as I started making a little bit more money and putting some money into savings, she came back and wanted more money. She wanted her share, and technically it was for the children, but I didn't really believe that it was going to the children. I'm sure some of it did. Um, my, my view on that has changed a great deal since I got past this. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to assume that most of it was in good faith for her. Uh, I, I think that assuming otherwise is contraindicated and doesn't do anything but make you bitter. Uh, and boy, was I bitter for a while. I mean, I just was. But I pulled my head out and I made myself a better person for it. And living well is the best revenge. You may recall I've done a video here that says the exact same thing. Living well is the best revenge. I've done much better for myself since I got divorced. I found a, a better relationship, a, a more loving relationship. And the funny thing about developing a, a better, more loving relationship is that all of the good things that flow to you just get multiplied. Now, with regard to relationships, let me suggest to you that it is never a wise idea to jump from the frying pan into the fire. You don't want to get divorced on Thursday and go get married on Friday. That's not a good plan. I would urge anybody who is having difficulty in their divorce to hire a mediator. Go to your attorney, ask him if you can hire a mediator to mediate the settlement and get through the divorce. Mediators do wonderful things. They go and they listen to both sides. Both sides wind up being heard. And then the mediator comes back and says, you know, I know you don't think $1,500 a month is fair child support, but it's probably what the court's going to order anyway, and that's what your spouse is willing to settle for. And if you make that agreement, then perhaps we can do something on some of these other issues that you're concerned with. For example, a car, the house, the boat, whatever. A mediator can get things done because he's neutral, because he doesn't have a, a dog in the fight. He's not an advocate. He simply listens to both sides and tries to work them toward the middle. I've seen mediators do wonderful things, and it is an absolutely wonderful way to bridge the differences in a divorce and get through it. So that's my advice on that. My advice with regard to surviving it is to remember that living well is the best revenge. It is 
never easy to go through this, but at the end of the day, when everything is said and done, you will be much better off for having gone through the divorce, gotten it taken care of, and moved on to the next hurdle in your life, the next challenge, than it will be to spend your time fretting over and, and being angry about what happened. I would point out that that is true even when someone has been unfaithful. That hurts a lot. I get that. But here's the thing. What's done is done. You can't undo it. You can't make it that it never happened. And so what? It didn't work out. Drain the bathtub and go on. There is life around the bend. Once you get past this, life will be better. So that's my thoughts on divorce. I hope you found that interesting or helpful or useful. And if you have, I'd appreciate it if you would smash that like button. And um, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I release a video on this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please feel free to leave your comments down below. And have a terrific day.